Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Jay. And in this video, I wanna give a quick update on my painting project, my Operation Dark Angels Glow Up. It's been about five or six weeks since my last video. I just wanna show my painting progress. Now at this point, I was trying to be done. My goal was to be done by the end of October, early November, isn't happening. Unfortunately, I will hopefully be done over the next, uh, I'll be done by the end of the year for sure. I'm down to a handful of models and I'm gonna show you my progress. Last time I showed it, a bunch of the models weren't painted of my squads and neither were any of my characters. But as you're gonna see, this, the characters are pretty much all painted other than one lieutenant's almost done and uh, the rest are good. I'm down to two models of the original 48. It was the two dreadnoughts. I still have to paint them. So one will be this week's painting with Jay, one will probably be next week's painting with Jay unless I decide to batch paint them. I think I'll probably just paint one at a time, to be honest. And then I get to the three awesome characters of the Dark Angels I'm going to paint in in that in this particular order, actually. I'm going to paint a, a chaplain on a bike, Azrael, and then the lion, Lionel Johnson. So, I'm excited. Let me show you what the models look like. And, I, of course, I want to hear about how your painting projects are going. Uh, the great thing about painting with Jay and us setting goals is that we can work together and accomplish them. You know... If I finish all my Dark Angels this year, phenomenal. And then next year I will start uh, my Tyranids, get them done, and then paint whatever's next. Probably Orcs or Grey Knights. And keep going. Let's run a world of unpainted walls. So first of all, please leave comments about how your painting project's coming along. And now, to the Dark Angels. Hey everyone, so check it out. Here is my glow-up Dark Angels army. As you can see, they're coming along. They're really coming along. They're almost done. I am really happy with the way that they turned out. So we'll start at the farthest to the left here. Let's go model by model. And you're going to see, of course, these are all my painting with J models. So, of course, we'll start off with the Captain and Terminator armor. I painted them up over a week. It was turned out pretty nicely. Some quick highlights. As I'm going to, I'm going to avoid using the term, but you guys all know the method I used. I just used pretty much contrast paints and some highlights, right? I just Zenithal highlighted these guys. Uh, and it was pretty easy, a lot of fun. I had so much fun painting these guys with contrast paints. I painted the Tyranid head, of course, in my standard Tyranid color scheme. Turned out really well. I like the golds on him. He's a cool model. I don't know if I'll ever try him in a you know game, probably. I painted his sword really cold blue, and then some quick highlights. Overall, happy way he turned out. Interesting model. Put him down. And then, my library, of course. <laughs> and then my librarian. I'm going to keep that. Uh, and he turned out cool too. I had a lot of fun using, uh, what is it called? Pilar Gr Glacier, I think it was called? Something Glacier, Pilar Glacier, I think it was. Using it for the eyes, the glow effects, his energy, just created some glow, his hand, his weapon. I really like the way it turned out. Let me just zoom in a little more. There we go. And so he turned out really nice. I really like the way that he, he, again, wasn't too hard. Painted most of them over painting with Jay. For the basing for these guys, I just used Astro Granite Earth because it fit in really well with the rocks. Put in a little dead flock, dead grass flock. But he turned out really cool as well. Again, really easy paint job. Not too bad. Great detail on him. He'll be fun on the tabletop. Cool. Up next, we have the Lieutenant from the... Uh, from the uh, the box set, yeah, with the uh, Desolation Marines. I'm starting to lose the memory of, of what the box was called. That's okay. Look at that. So he turned out really cool. I like the way that he, I like his metal hand. He lost his arm and he has a power fist with a plasma gun. Turned out really, actually this is probably one of my favorite models that I painted the entire time. Just turned out really nice and clean, really easy to paint up. I love the face, love the details of the hair. I painted him, you know, gray hair basically using Apothecary White. This guy is actually not completed, but I'm gonna show you. This is my other Lieutenant from the uh, Leviathan starter set. I'm almost done him, I just gotta do some quick highlights, clean up the green a little bit, and then paint the base, the, the Tyranid on the base. Highlight up, put some sand flock, uh, some grass flock, and then highlight the greens. So I have another 40 minutes on him at most, probably another 25, 30 minutes at most on him, including drying time, and he'll be all done. I just really want to get this video out, and he's kind of the only one here that's incomplete at the moment that I'm showing. But oh, whatever, he's cool. And we have the Apothecary of Bi Biologist. I'll actually, eventually I'll have a painting tutorial. I filmed it 
not the base specifically, but uh, I definitely filmed a painting tutorial on how I painted them up. Once again, just using the quote unquote slap chop style. You turn out really nicely, really clean. I love the apothecary white. I don't know, maybe just I'm using an old batch, but I love this apothecary white. He definitely comes off white, even though he's more of a gray, and I did a quick dry brush, of course, to build up the whites. And it was a really cool opportunity for the base. I used, uh, what was it called? Typhus Corrosion? No. Uh, there was a paint that I, I loved. I just was curious. And I just thought of it at the last moment, and I was like, you know what? I should add that for the sewer effect. I... Uh, just don't remember the paint name. Today I'm having one of those days. That's okay. But that's cool. As like I said, I love the, the glowing, like the glowing rotness on the uh, the base. And just it's always cool to just go into my paint stash, find a paint that I haven't used in a while. And uh, it might have been Typhus Corrosion. I don't think so. It might be Nurgle's Rot. Um, it is, let me grab it. It is in fact, Nurgle's Rot. So I used that on the base. But, as you can see, turned out nicely. It's nice and clean, very white, very apothecary biologus. And again, I can't wait to try him out. I've already tried him out in games, actually. I played him when he was unpainted. But it's just really nice to have him paint it all up. And he'll go lead some squads. Yeah, critical hits. Love it. I painted up, I called them my purgation squad. But uh, the Burner Marines are painted up. They look good, nice and clean once again. just it, I love this painting style. Just use contrast paints, quick highlights. It's effective. It's easy. It's a lot of fun. I love painting them up. And then what I did was for the Burn, uh, for their Flamers, I just used uh, different amounts of Black Templar. And that's how I actually got that the, uh, the, the Burnt effect on these guys. Just used Black Templar in various amounts and built it up. Quick rating of Black Templar. But as you can see, I just I love the way it turned out. It came up nice and clean. Definitely tabletop standard. You could play this in any tournament and you'd get painting scores, right? Looks good. Nice and clean. Love it. But they were a lot of fun to paint up. They were kind of the most boring of all the Marines I painted up, but that's cool. As I said, they had fun, loved it. I painted up two squads of Desolation Marines. They're all done. I went with a very basic color scheme, to be honest, with these guys. Let me just grab one. So, uh, I went with the basic color scheme. This is mostly the gun, the wiring, some brass, silver. They're good. Tried them out on the tabletop. For points wise, now they're pretty heavily point costed. So, I will definitely keep playing them, but they're just not as good as they once were when they came out. That's okay. They're more in line than a fair point amount. But, as I said, I really enjoyed painting them. Two squads of five. All done as well. As you can see, I've been painting. Like, I've been keeping myself busy. And then from the previous video, of course, my Terminator Command Squad. They're all still painted up at the moment. I still got to paint up the little dude. I have my Heavy Intercessors. My Terminator Squad, which I went Deathwing Terminator, of course, because it's Dark Angels. And my Stern Guard Veteran Squad. Once again, I'm just going to pull out the, uh, the leader here. And look at that. Very clean, you know, just a quick paint job. The, this could have been a little cleaner, I guess, but I love the way that the uh, the purity seals turn out. Easy paint job using contrast paints, some quick highlights. I love the way they look. And once again, for this, for the heads, I used my apothecary white and then a quick dry brush to make it look extremely white. Love it. Love the way that they turned out. Clean. They're okay on the battlefield. I wouldn't say they're my best unit. Definitely not my worst. Cool. Can't wait to try. You know, can't wait to try them out more in games. And then we have the two non-painted guys. We have my Brutalis Dreadnought, my Ballistus Dreadnought. Haven't painted them yet. I still got to hit them with a satin varnish. That's my goal for tonight. Hit them with a satin varnish, and then I will start painting them up. One of them will be my painting with Jay this week. One will be my painting with Jay next week. Get them done, get them on the tabletop, get them complete, and then start painting up my fun guys. My um, my three favorite models that I'm, I'm really excited, and they were kind of my rewards, of course. You know, I just, yeah, I can't wait. Azrael, you know, the lion, chaplain on a bike. I'm going to do chaplain on a bike, Azrael, lion, of course. But, uh... That's it. There's my. That's it for my painting project. So again, I'm almost done. I'm in the home stretch. 
I have 45 of my paint models painted, or 46 of my painted models, and I just gotta finish the last couple and get them done, get them on the tabletop, and keep enjoying my paint job. This has been a, f a great few months of painting. I've had a great time. Honestly, I've had more fun painting these Dark Angels than I've had painting models in a long time, and I really do attribute a part of that to the contrast paints. I really do. They've made my paint jobs fun. I know I, this is not the highest standard, but this is not a terrible standard by any means. I think this is a great tabletop standard. And again, it's just contrast paints, some highlight colors, and true metallics. I want it with true metallics. I don't like non-metallics with, um, with the contrast paints. But I think they turned out great. And I am super excited to have this army all painted up and get onto my next painting project as quick as possible. And keep playing Dark Angels on the table. And that is my update on Operation Dark Angels Glow Up. Let's keep painting, shall we? So, that concludes my update. I really hope you enjoyed this update video. And how's your painting progress coming along? What do you think about my painting progress? As you can see, I'm working hard. Slowly but surely, I'm painting up these guys. And they're almost done. Um, after the couple dreads, I'm going to start assembling and painting the really cool characters. Get them done one per week or two, you know, probably two weeks on the lion. Get it all done by the end of the year. And then 2024, I will start afresh with a new glow up challenge. Uh, probably orcs or tyranids and keep going. So stay tuned for more videos. Please like the video, comment in the comment section down below about how your painting is coming along. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please hit that bell so that every time I put up a new video, you see and you get to watch it. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting.